What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, we're gonna ask the question, is ClipChamp finally good? Before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to everyone who's been supporting me on the new podcast. Uh, well Unknown is a new podcast that I do on non-political conspiracy theories, cryptids, and creepy cool stuff like that. Episode one is on the Mothman, and it has been a blast to put together, and I look forward to doing more. Um, I'm excited about the reception and uh, the feedback I've been getting, so be sure to check it out if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, ClipChamp itself. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because they finally upgraded their pricing plan. Um, and it's a bit sneaky how they've done this because they make it seem like it's going from a somewhat good plan to a even better plan. But really, the original plan was really, really bad. <laughs> so this is what the the plan was before um, where you can do 1080p exports for free, which seems great. And then the other features only add cloud storage, um, stock audio, brand kits, and um, things like that. So it wasn't too bad to just stick with the free one because you could do 1080p exports. But that wasn't actually the original plan. The original plan um, did not let you export above 480p. So if you wanted to export 1080p without a watermark, you actually had to have the higher end plan, so you had to pay for it regardless. Now, considering that a lot of other video editors do cost money, that seems, I guess, all right. But for something that's going to be bundled with Windows, it just doesn't seem appropriate to have those level of restrictions on something that should be at least usable to create 1080p video. Um, so they listened to everyone and realized that that's probably what needs to happen, and they upgraded the plan to this. It is now unlimited 1080p exports without watermarks, um, free audio, image, and video stock, and free filters and effects, and it's absolutely free. The only thing you pay extra for are premium filters, the brand kit, and content backups. So if you want those features, you do need to pay for um, you know, the cloud backup storage and things like that, and the premium features, and that's $11.99 a month, which is much cheaper than most of their other plans as well. But looking at this uh, 1080p one, this is actually extremely good because it means it's basically free. As long as you don't use any other premium filters and effects and you stick to your own content like you would with any other video editor, um, and they do have some good filters and effects built in, you're basically able to use the program for free for most of your video editing needs as long as you're not doing 4K. So uh, let's take a look at the program itself. Let's open up ClipChamp. It should be installed on every Windows 11 computer. You might need to install it from the Microsoft Store, depending on the version, but usually it's installed directly on the computer. And once it loads up, you're going to log in with your uh, Microsoft account, and that's the only way to get the new plan. You can't log in with the other accounts. Um, and then you're given this page. So you can see I already tried recording a few things. Um, I had uh, my webcam on, as well as the uh, podcast in the background. I was playing GTA 5 over here, and you can see my uh, camera right there. And that's the kind of sleeper cool thing about this app, is it isn't just a video editor. It makes it seem like you can only edit videos, like when you go to create. Um, there isn't a place to necessarily record anything, but if you click on this plus sign, and go to record camera or screen, you actually can do a screen and camera recording. You can do just the camera, you can do just the screen, and you can even do text-to-speech. And text-to-speech is actually really, really good. Um, you can even choose different dialects and languages, so um, that's kind of a cool feature to be able to add things into your videos last minute. And um, the feature set itself is actually really, really useful as well. There's some intros that you can use for your channel. Um, you can just go ahead and click on one and preview it and if you want to add that to your um, your video you can add it as a template and then it shows everything here and you can replace these stock video clips with your own and it even gives you um, ideas on how to edit the video so if we look at this once it's finished importing uh, it'll take a, a few moments to finish um, it'll have text on the screen like right here, that says, add an engaging um, video that gets your users excited about what's gonna happen or whatever. And then over here, you can say, here's where you film your intro, show personality and tell us what we're all about. And so it, it gives you um, advice for editing the video. So here we go, we see it. Um, if I press play, it says add an engaging or funny snippet from your video here. And then it goes into forever waiting, which you can actually edit the text to whatever you want it to be. Let's 
starting soon. And then that says starting soon. And it works just like that. And it says here's where you film your intro, show personality, tell us what we're all about to watch, encourage us to engage with your channel. We added some icons for you to make um, these pop up when you're telling us to subscribe. So you can have that icon right there. And um, you can choose when it comes up and everything. So if when you're talking, um, you want it to come up at a different time, that'll pop up. That's a great little feature as well. And you can move that anywhere you want as well. You can place it somewhere else on your screen to make it more visible. And it'll work just as well. It's a really, really cool um, way of templating here. But you do notice that it says it's watermarked because this is one of their advanced effects. So you have to actually use their free effects. And you can see which ones are available here. And there actually are quite a few of these that look pretty cool and they can use for different types of videos. So as long as you stay away from the uh, paid effects, it is absolutely free. But if you do want to have the full feature of this um, and all the extra effects and everything, eleven ninety nine a month, isn't that bad, honestly. Uh, let me know what you think of it. It's it's actually starting to turn into a real video editor that, that might be a competitor to current video editors and definitely a um, replacement for Windows Movie Maker. So the only thing that I've noticed that I don't like about this, maybe I didn't figure out how to do it just yet, is I can't use green screens. So I did uh, use my camera and import the green screen footage. Um, but as far as I could tell, there are no filters or effects or anything that will actually um, create a green screen effect. So I'm still looking into doing that, but everything else, it seems like a very powerful editor and it lets you export in 1080p now. So can't go wrong. Uh, let me know what you think of ClipChamp in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price!